Okay, so we are going to go ahead and set up our drop cam. We are going to plug the USB cable into the side of our laptop here. And it should go ahead and find and install the drivers and everything needed to go ahead and set up the drop cam. Alright, so it went ahead and found it. I'll just need to open up this right here and go to my setup drop cam right here. And then there's the Windows application. We'll go ahead and double click on that and let this open up. I guess it opens up your browser and then you'll click let's get started and then create an account. I already have one so I can go ahead and log in. So I'll put in my email address and my password. All right, so I'll go ahead and hit log in. It's looking for my device. So it detected these Wi-Fi networks. My five gigahertz network is my www.joshdew. So I'll go ahead and choose that one. And then I need to insert, put in the Wi-Fi password. I'll just go ahead and hit connect to Wi-Fi. Your camera is successfully connected. Next, please use indoors only between 32 and 35. So, all right, I understand I will not operate in these conditions. Next. Waiting for the camera, unplug unplug the camera from your computer. So we'll go ahead and do that. Plug it into the AC adapter that it came with and plug that into my power strip over here. And next, waiting for camera to connect. Personalize my camera where? Um, I, <laughs> oh, I guess I'll put it in the dining room. Do you want to receive alerts? Sure, we'll try it at first. Watch now. And it should bring up my ugly mug here in a second. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just not talk to that thing. There I am. This is my freaking ugly mug, and I'm hearing myself through the speakers on here. If I press this little button, I can talk back, and the little speaker on the device will start going crazy. I'm going to go ahead and mute this audio so it's not in here twice. I can go ahead and pause the video. I can go ahead and click five minutes. Go back and review the footage from a little bit ago. It's, I guess, not letting me drag it at the moment. There we go. You just click on it. And look, see, now I'm viewing a previous recording. So if you have a seven day or a 30 day, then you can choose whether you want hour or 24 hour. Then you can go back and review the footage that happened yesterday, the day before yesterday, or the day before that. Like I said in my unboxing, you can go ahead and go, okay, well, we, uh, we left for a trip four days ago. We just got back. We don't know when this damage occurred uh, to our property, so we can review the footage. So very, very, very convenient. Well, create a new zone, so... The, for to, Oh, cool. So if I put this out my front window where it's recording my car, like if anybody does anything to my car, I can set a little area right here where if motion happens within this area, it will notify me and I can drag this out. Dude, that is so freaking cool. Drop cam is amazing. That is awesome. When you're done viewing the zone, record a video, go to the live. That's so cool. That is so freaking cool. How do you set that? Okay, go live. And then if any activity goes on in this little area right here, it will go ahead and send me an alert saying that, hey, this area has detected activity. So this is really, really, really cool. So we can go to our settings here and see what all is in the settings. We can turn the camera on and off, status light. I want that to be off. I do want HD vision and I want night vision at night. Rotate image 180 degrees, audio, mic sensitivity, camera scheduling, so that's really cool. Drop cam, CVR, sound detection. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. That's <laughs> Dude, this is so freaking cool. My alerts here. I can send it to my phone. I can send it to my email. I can make a time schedule, location schedule, notify me of sound, if offline. I can share my camera with my wife or my dad or somebody and let them monitor it. Or I can make it public and let the whole world watch it, which I don't recommend doing if it's somewhere personal. If it's like a fish tank or something like that, then it doesn't really matter. It's okay. But, yeah. And you can always choose to not make it public in the future if you want. They do give you a little trial here. 14 days of cloud recording. When my trial is over, I will be using the, you know, seven days right here. I think this one 
is a really good option. I highly doubt that if something happened, you know, 14 days ago, I would need <laughs> I would need the 30 day one. That that brings it up quite a bit. I definitely plan on paying for the year membership, which $100 a year is not too bad. And when you add additional cameras, you do get a discount on the additional cameras. So it's a little bit off depending on how many you get. So what I believe is it's 50% off the next one, so $150 per year, and then 50% off that. Don't hold me to that. That's just what I'm, you know, that's what I'm understanding at this point based on a tweet that they replied to a customer. And that's another thing is on their social media, they are replying to customers. And look, see, main hallway, activity detected at 504, back door, 520. This is so freaking cool. This is a more than amazing yeah, there we go. Get 50% off cloud recording for each camera you add. So I plan on having probably about three of these. One that monitors my car, the driveway. One of them that monitors like my daughter's bedroom. And maybe one that monitors my living room. So if I am out somewhere, I can go back into my home camera and see what my dog's up to. I can see what my cats are up to. This is so freaking cool. I am, ah, this is freaking awesome. You could use it as a baby monitor, you can use it as a pet monitor, uh, security for your business, home security. There's so many freaking uses for this thing. It's amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.